Hey guys, welcome back to 3 Hour News Show. You are still watching our signature segment, See the Stories. And today, we have a very special guest who is famous for his song, Here's Your Perfect. Check it out. I'm the first to say that I'm not perfect And you're the first to say you want the best thing But now I know a perfect way to let you So our today's guest just headlined one of the music festival here in Indonesia and also just released one of his new songs which is uh, called Nothing to Miss. So without further ado, please welcome Jamie Miller. What's up? Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? So how, how have you been so far in Indonesia? How are you settling in? I've been great. I love it here. I think the fans are incredible. My team here is amazing, so I've been having the best time. Uh, did you get to try some of Indonesian food? I did. I went to a restaurant yesterday and tried mm -hmm. a bunch of different spicy foods. Ooh, what did you Chicken. try? Chicken. We had like uh, spicy and sweet fish. Okay. I don't really know the names. Yep, yep, yep. So it's um, uh, orange in color. Yes. The sauce is orange. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you like it? I did. I'm not usually a spice person, mm -hmm. but I think they you converted like me. Yeah. love it. Anything else you tried? Uh, I tried a lot of food. Mm -hmm. I'm also a little bit jet lagged, so oh, yeah. whatever was out in front of me, I'll, just... <laughs> I'll eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, and um, you've been um, enjoying your stay here, and also, um, you know, you've been to lots of countries mm -hmm. recently, right? Yes. Going on tour, going on different yeah. cities and um, countries. And how do you feel like um, that Indonesia differs from the other countries that you've visited so far? I just feel like here, like everyone is so kind. Mm -hmm. Everyone, like they're the nicest people I've ever met and like just the fans are incredible. I didn't really expect the turnout that I had yesterday. So I played a lot of shows, but yesterday was definitely one of the highlights for this year for me. I saw in your Instagram stories, mm. you said hi to the fans yeah. at the music festival. Yeah. You also took some pictures with them. <laughs> so yeah. um, can you tell us like how does it feel like your encounter with your fans at the music festival especially? Yeah, like it's been a long time coming, coming to Indonesia. Like I've, I couldn't really get here when Here's Your Perfect mm -hmm. like first came out because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But like just being here right now and just having everybody just be so kind to me was, was like really just like I'm like, oh my, wow, this is just crazy. Yeah, so Here's Your Perfect was such a massive hit. Mm -hmm. It was back in 2021, yes. I believe, right? And you yeah. were 24, 20? Yes, Yeah. 24. So it was pretty young age. So how did it feel for you, you know, like at 24, having your song being such a massive hit globally? Like, honestly, it was like so unexpected. It was, I went to bed one day and then the next day it was just, Mm -hmm. Like overnight, like it, I could think I got attached to a TV show and then people started putting on like OSTs and stuff like that. But it was just like one of the best moments in my life. Like it changed my life. So mm -hmm. that's the reason I'm here today is for that song. And yeah. it, never, it never nearly came out. Mm -hmm. So I'm very glad that it did. That's nice. And you're also releasing your new song, Nothing yes. To Miss. Uh, so Nothing To Miss has been released. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was uh, a couple months ago and one of my favorite songs on, on my album that I love. and. So I'm glad everybody loves it too. Which you also sang yesterday. I didn't sing that oh. one yesterday. My new song is called Better By Myself. Oh, okay. So that comes out very soon. That comes out in two weeks. Oh, that's nice. About, so okay. Yeah. So about nothing to miss, did you write it yourself? I did write it with myself. I wrote it with a co-writer. Mm. I, I came in with, with the idea and yeah. Uh, and it is pretty emotional. Did you, you know, <laughs> is it from a personal experience? Yeah, it's, it's about like a friendship breakup. Mm -hmm. And I think I went through like a really rough time with like a friendship breakup back in LA. And mm. one of those moments where I just say goodbye to someone and unfortunately it was forever. So that's what it's about. Okay, and your song, Here's Your Perfect, went viral on various platforms, social media platforms. I mean, are you, you, you're also a Gen Z, right? Yeah. You're still border, I think so. borderline, borderline, yeah. Why are you making me feel old? <laughs> <laughs> same, I'm also in the borderline Gen Z, <laughs> yeah. so I like the same, yeah. So how did it feel like for you, you know, being a musician in the digital era where your song could get viral in various um, social media platforms? I mean, it was the best for mm -hmm. me. Like, I think TikTok is such an amazing platform now where we get to, like, express ourselves and we get to do things on our own terms. And I feel like Here's Your Perfect was, like, at the time, my team didn't want it to come out. And then mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to prove you wrong. 
and I went to TikTok. That's and nice. Thankfully, I had a whole army of people uh, like behind me, so I think it was like really special and cosmic timing that it all came together so so easily. Yeah, and your fans, they're mo mostly also with the Gen Z, you know, the young, the young yeah, yeah. generation. How does it feel like for you? Is it easier for you as like a fellow Gen Z to connect with your fans? Or? Yeah, it is. I think lately it's been a little bit more hard just because I've been so busy creating mm -hmm. my album and stuff. But um, I think after now, it's like it's all came together very well. I get to go online and be a little bit more active now. And what do you think that uh, makes your fans are attracted to your songs and also like your you know, is it, do you think, is it like the persona, is it the fashion, is it the lyrics, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would say, I, I think it's just like the music, I feel like mm -hmm. it's, it's real mm -hmm. stories that I talk about and clearly a lot of people go through the same thing, so mm -hmm. I would, yeah, I think it's the music. And I also like your style. Thank you, yeah, I, I like think, your style too. Thanks. <laughs> I think that's also why people also are like attracted to you because, you know, with your I mean, with the song, with uh, with the music and the lyrics, and also like your persona itself, it thank it you. adds up. <laughs> thank you, I yeah. appreciate it. And then, um, you know, you also went to other countries in Southeast Asia, right? I went to the Philippines, mm -hmm. and that was also incredible. Yeah, and then um, the other day I saw you were posting some of the Indonesian artists in your in your story, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. do you have any you know plans of collaboration with the Indonesian artists or other Southeast Asian? I would love to. I think I think there's so many talented people here. Like a few people that come to mind is Tiara. And mm, I saw you posted her yesterday. Yeah, I yeah. think she. I think she's awesome, and we became good friends. So we'll see what what happens in the future. But I think she's incredible. And so maybe perhaps a plan to collaborate. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll have to wait okay. and see. Okay. And what are your future plans? My future plans. I've got an album coming out very soon. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very excited. It's taken a while. To, to come together, but I'm very excited. It's my debut album and mm -hmm. hopefully do a worldwide tour mm -hmm. um, to tour the album. And just there's so many things I want to check off that I think I'm going to be able to do with this album, and I'm very excited. And I hope Indonesia will and I be. I will be coming back to Indonesia. <laughs> and Let's go. The list of it. And in the album itself, is it going to contain um, the the songs that you have released, or is it going some to. Some of them. Some of them, yeah. Yeah, some of them. There's a lot of new ones, though. Okay, so I we can expect more songs from yeah, you. Yeah, Emotional yeah. ones? Emotional, happy, mm. angry. Oh, Ooh, he's coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. But I'm excited. Okay, so it's not see the stories if we don't play a little game. So Let's do I it. have this fishbowl, and okay. it contains uh, some papers. There are okay. some words in it. So you are going to pick out the papers, and you're gonna sing a song that has the words okay. in this paper. Any song, any song. It could be your song. It could be. Okay, perfect. You, you know, any song. Okay. We are. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, Can you show it to, to the camera? Yep. We are. We are. We are the champions. <laughs> we are the champions, my friend. Wrong word? Oh, that's I don't know if that was even the right letter. It is, it is. We are. We are. <laughs> great voice, again? great voice, yeah. Thank you. The next one is. I'm trying to think of the word. Dancing. Dancing Queen. <laughs> I don't know the <laughs> lyrics to this song. Sorry. It's, I'm very it's bad great. At if this. you if you have a great voice, then the lyrics doesn't even matter. These are kind of hard, just, though. Yeah. You're it? not meant to help me. <laughs> I have to be on my own. The, la the last one. This is this is going to be um, the last one. So the last one is here. Oh, this is my favorite Beyonce song. Oh, I was here. I live. I loved. I was here. I did. I done everything that I wanted. There we go. Oh, woof! That was hot. That it was, was so hot. great. That's that's amazing. <laughs> Thank I you. love it so much. Okay, so Woo! with that game, that wraps up our interview Thank today. You so Thank much. you so much for Appreciate you, you know me. having a chat with us. And I hope the next time you're coming on tour for your. I yeah. will be back. Yep, I hope to like talk to you again soon. Let's do right? it. Right, right. So that wraps up our interview with Jamie Miller. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned in three-hour news show.